Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today for the blog at Best Buy Canada, and this time I've got the Spiro Star Wars BB-8 app-enabled droid, which this time around comes with an all-new piece of equipment called the Droid Trainer. And that's a pretty important component of this year's BB-8 release, so I'm going to be taking a you know a bit of an extra look at that, along with going through several of BB-8's other key features. And if you saw my review of BB-9E or even R2-D2, both from Sphero, you'll already be familiar with many of those features, but I am trying to make each video its own thing so that they're sort of related but not really covering the exact same stuff so it's kind of like uh, the Star Wars original trilogy where any one film gives you its own story but you'll only get the big picture if you see all three so I do spend some time focusing on different aspects of for instance the Sphero Droids app in each video so it's almost like uh, three chapters of the same book they're ultimately telling the same story but each one reveals its own new details and of course the Sphero Droids app controls all three of these smart droids and it works with both Android and iOS based smart devices using Bluetooth smart to communicate with them and of course it's on each individual user to make sure that his or her device meets the minimum requirements of the app and you can find that out through Sphero's own FAQs. Now as with the original release of BB-8 this one as well charges through induction with its own special cradle and the charging time on these is really difficult to pin down but it's somewhere in the two to three hour range and that will give you approximately one hour of play time. Now among the key features that you can use thanks to the Sphero Droids app are the Droid to Droid experience and that's the one where he interacts with the other Sphero Star Wars droids and that may or may not look like what I'm showing here because honestly uh, when I had these droids in hand the feature wasn't quite up and running yet. And of course, I have since sent them along for French review. Anyway, there's also a very cool feature called Watch With Me, where you can sit back and enjoy one of these Star Wars saga films with your BB-8 and see how he reacts to what's happening on the screen. And Sphero has been slowly but surely adding in more films to this feature, and they'll eventually have them all up and running. But I sat down and watched A New Hope with all three of the droids, and it was really quite a lot of fun. They sometimes reacted to the same scene, and other times only one or two of them react. So they kind of have their own uh, personalities. It seemed that way to me anyway, and they weren't all programmed exactly the same. Each had their own concerns anyway about what was going on in the movie. And of course, another cool feature in the Sphero Droids app allows you to trace out a path on your device screen with your finger, and the BB-8 will then follow that path along in real life. And this one takes quite a bit of room to actually make the most of it. I've been suggesting that people try it on a tennis court. That's probably the ideal place just because BB-8 has a very huge range, 30 meters, and your device screen actually represents a nice piece of territory as well. Now, aside from the Sphero Droids app, the main thing that differentiates this year's version of BB-8 from the original release in 2015 is the inclusion of the all-new special piece of hardware called the Droid Trainer. Now, I mentioned this before, but I'm going to show it up close now. So, the Droid Trainer is essentially a small platform that has a little concave indent in it for BB-8 to sit in and pretty much then roll around without zipping and zooming all over your host. So it's basically a way to have BB-8 stay put while you test out some of his features and it really works great. It keeps your BB-8 from taking off when you don't really want him to and it allows him to roll as fast as he wants to in any direction without really actually going anywhere which is just great because these small droids you know they really love to take off at times. Now the final feature that I like to mention here is the holographic simulation and that is the one where BB-8 patrols the interior of one of the resistance ships. I believe this one is called the Radis and it basically gives you the chance to see what the inside of a Star Wars ship looks like kind of in a blueprint sort of style and of course R2 and BB-9E each also have access to their own different ships. With R2, it's actually the Millennium Falcon. So if you have all three of these droids, you can see three different ships on the inside. So very, very cool. And the droid trainer also really comes in handy for this feature because without it, your BB-8 would be on the move and going who knows where while you try to have fun virtually exploring the ship. 
So definitely some new elements for this year's BB-8. And I personally think that the droid trainer is a great little inclusion here, particularly when you're first trying to get used to driving your BB-8 around with the controller pad on the device screen, uh, which kind of acts as a joystick. And since BB-8 can really go fast at times, it's sort of a good way to restrain him a little bit while you kind of get used to that because he is very stubborn. You know, these droids, they're very stubborn and enthusiastic. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about BB-8 for now. I really hope you enjoyed the video, but you can always learn more about this droid by checking out my complete written review over at Best Buy Canada's blog, where there's plenty of photos and all of the key details are written up, including a few tidbits that I didn't discuss here in the video. So I invite you to check out the blog, but that's going to do it for me for now. More toy and tech gadget reviews are still on the way. We've got some very cool stuff to cover, so keep an ear to the ground and an eye on the blog for all of those. For now, I'd just like to thank you all for watching. Have yourselves an excellent day, and I'll see you soon.